Hey guys, what's going on? One thing that uh, I was going to miss from Windows when I switched to Linux was the use of NVIDIA Instant Replay, which unfortunately is not available to NVIDIA users who also use Linux. But I thought about trying to remedy this problem, and I found out that you can pretty much almost identically remedy this using OBS. It's actually possible to get almost identical functionality using the OBS application. So yeah, today I'm going to be making a video on how to do it. So maybe you have an AMD card or you're using Linux as well. Either way, you just don't have access to instant replay. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to do it on Linux, and I'll also show you how to do it on Windows. Uh, most of the steps are the same on both operating systems, but towards the end, there is a few differences. So I will make sure to show those. So let me go ahead and just get right into it. I'm going to bring my OBS right here. I'm actually recording in this right now, so it does look kind of trippy here, but just bear with me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is you need to go into your settings right here. Go to output, and since I already actually have it enabled, uh, replay buffer, make sure that this is checked here. Uh, this is how it looks in advanced mode. Uh, I can't change it to show how it looks in simple mode right now because I am actively recording. But there should be a little checkbox somewhere that should say enable replay buffer. But in advanced mode, just go here, check enable replay buffer, um, set your desired preferences for how long you want it to be, and yeah, just make sure it's enabled and make sure your desired settings are in place. So that's the first step. Very simple, right? So next thing what we need to do is we need to have a hotkey to click to actually save the replay buffer. That way when we want to save a clip, clip something, you know, friends like in VC like, ooh, clip that. We need to actually have a button to do that. So scroll down until you find replay buffer here in your hotkeys section and assign a key to save the replay. I just have mine as F9, right? So you're going to click apply, hit OK. Uh, we actually have one more setting to put in here. Uh, and this is the minimize settings. Basically what we want to have this doing is whenever we start our computer, OBS is going to start recording with replay buffer on minimized. That way it's just like shadow play, right? But in order to do that, we need to tweak a few more settings. So go to general, and you should be looking for one of these settings in here that should be minimize on startup. And here we go. It should be under system tray. Make sure minimize to system tray when started is checked. That little box right there. And this is another useful one. Always minimize to system tray instead of taskbar. So that's a good one to have as well. Make sure those are both checked. And make sure this enable one here is checked as well. So you're going to hit apply and hit OK to close that. I'm going to show it being done with Linux first because that's what I already have up. So I'm just going to move that out of the way here. So for Linux, the first thing we need to do is, it's actually simpler on Linux than it is in Windows. You need to go to whatever start menu you're using and you need to type in startup applications and open this here so I already have it in here but what you're gonna do if you don't have it in here already is you're gonna click add and in this one you're gonna type in the name OBS studio the command what you're gonna do is you're gonna type OBS uh, start replay yeah start replay buffer I'm a lousy typist, I apologize. Uh, OBS Studio. And you can just type whatever here in this comment. Now what this is going to do is it's going to start OBS with this extra thing here, which is going to make sure that as soon as it launches, it starts replay buffer. And what you'll do is click add. I already have OBS added in here. So yeah, and you can see here the uh, things here are the same except for the comment. So now that should be all you have to do on Linux. Um, now what should happen is whenever you start up your computer, OBS will launch in the background and be recording. And all you have to do to save it is hit your F9 key on your keyboard or whatever hotkey you set it to. And that'll save you a clip of whatever just happened. All right, guys. So now I'm here on my Windows virtual machine. So I can show you how this is done in Windows. Let me just log in here. Now the first steps are the same 
uh, all the way up for doing all the settings inside OBS exactly. So I'm not going to show all those again. But the things that are different are making sure replay buffer is enabled at startup and running OBS at startup. It is a little bit different. So, oops, OBS automatically started here. Don't want that. Let me close that real quick. So first thing we need to do is make sure OBS enables itself at startup. And to do that, what we have to do is go to your OBS uh, shortcut here. If you don't have one on your desktop, uh, you can just go like this down here. So you go to O, OBS Studio, More, and Open File Location. And that'll show it the shortcut right in here. I'm just going to use it on my desktop though since it's already there. You're going to right click it and hit Properties. And under the shortcut thing here, um, this right here, this line right here, what you're going to do is make sure that after these quotes, it has to be outside of these quotes, you had the same thing we did for the Linux version here, this dash dash start replay buffer, all one word, at the end in this target field here. So let me just do this. That's what it's going to look like blank when you first open it. And then you're just going to paste this here, start replay buffer with the two dashes in front of it. Make sure it's outside of these quotes, else that will not work. I'm going to hit apply. And it might give you some kind of prompt telling you you need to be admin. Just hit OK on that. And then we're going to hit OK for this. Now we need to make sure Windows actually runs OBS at startup. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. Oh, sorry. Here. In the start menu, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Go to more and open file location. So we're right here. Now, once we're in here, we're going to hit the Windows key and R on your keyboard at the same time. And that's going to bring up this little window. Now in here, you're just going to type shell colon startup and then hit OK. That's going to open this window. And what you're going to do is you see this here because I already did it. I went and reverted everything that I did so I could get a clean recording, but apparently Windows doesn't like that. Anyway, this will be blank for you. S or, well, it'll obviously have all your other startup applications in here, but this is a fresh install on a virtual machine, so there's nothing here for me. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, right-click this, copy, and just paste it in there. Now we can close both of these, and that should be all. You should now be able to use it just like on Linux in Windows, and it should run on startup. So let me show you that right here in action. Just going to restart the virtual machine. And here we are back at the desktop, and it should start up right here. It takes a minute because it's a virtual machine, and virtual machines are pretty slow. There, you see, it just showed for half a second, and now we have OBS right here. And you can see it started up perfectly, and it was all minimized, right? So now all we'd have to do is hit our hotkey to save our recording. So, yeah, that should be it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Have a great day.